Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Gemini, please? Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy at the Foundation. Okay, Ten of Cups being probably one of my favorite cards in the tarot. This is just an energy of total love and support and contentment right at your stability. And this really is the picture of happiness, but whatever that is to you, right? This is just a very general picture of happiness, right? You know, the kids running around, the husband, the wife, the stream with the house and the green pastures. This is a very good way to start this reading. Okay, what do we have at the sacral? Five of Wands, but you had to fight to get here. There's a lot of people who have something to say about this, Gemini. This could also be future energy that you're moving towards. This could be the energy that's on the horizon line for you that you're fighting to get to. Five of Wands, Leo energy at the sacral. These are all these obstacles and challenges you've had to go through or you're going through to get here. Fighting for your happiness, Gemini, is the energy I'm getting here. And I'm starting to feel a little bit frustrated. This is ridiculous, having to live a life like this. But I resonate with this myself, even though I'm not a Gemini. This is somebody who's having to fight for their happiness, not wanting to feel isolated and in fear anymore. Pessimistic about life. You actually feel optimistic about life. You want to live a passionate, healthy life. Balanced, sacral energy. These energies you're dealing with are very manipulative. They want you to be in a place of fear so they can control you. So you can't bring in this harmony for yourself. What do we have at the solar plexus? Okay, we're going to take both those. What do we got? Whew. Boom. Ten of Pentacles at the solar plexus. Devil at the heart. Virgo energy with this Ten of Pentacles at the solar plexus. Capricorn energy with this devil. So Gemini, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on the table. There's not much missing from this, Gemini. This is legacy energy. This is an energy of wealth, happiness. But isn't it interesting here? Weaved between the Ten of Cups and the pen, Ten of Pentacles is this Five of Wands and Devil energy, an energy that wants to keep you in bondage. Wants to keep you trapped in whatever this abusive situation is here. This could be family dynamics, friends, co-workers, siblings. It could really be anything. It's just an energy that doesn't want to see you be the best you you can be. They want you to be bitter and hateful just like them. They want you to be jealous, and they want you to give them all of this good energy you have. They want to siphon all your high vibrational energy for narcissistic supply to feed Baphomet right here. They want you to be shackled with them to Baphomet. Look, that's you and them right there. However that shows up for you, right? What do we have at the throat, please? Too many cards. Throat position. Okay, we're going to take this Wheel of Fortune. We're going to put this back. What was that? Okay, makes sense. Seven of Swords right there. It's just this sneaky, underhanded energy, right? And here, look again. Here you are, spinning the wheel over the devil, everything going in your favor now because you're actually allowing yourself to step into your power. See your highest potential align with your divinity. Not allowing these devils to keep you trapped anymore. Moving forward, no longer feeling misunderstood. Understanding that other than God, your spirit guides and the divine, no one else really matters if they're not supporting you. Okay? And you don't take advice from anybody. These are individuals who tried to guide you, so to speak, right? They wanted you to listen to their good advice, which tells me this could have been parents for a lot of you. 
This is you stepping into a whole new timeline. Your spirit guides right there taking note, right? Oh, yes. This is going to make for a great story for Gemini in the future. What do we have at the third eye, please? Eight of Wands at the third eye. Sag energy. And you're moving quickly into this new timeline. I feel like the divine just needed you to see your highest potential and now they're moving you swiftly into this new timeline. It's like they can't wait to get you out of this, but they couldn't remove you until you saw the truth. And this is how it always is. The divine can't the divine cannot touch you, Gemini, until you step out on faith. However that shows up for you. You have to have belief and faith. Otherwise the divine cannot help you. You need to actually ask for it. Listen to your intuition. I feel like your intuition is very strong right now. You're getting a lot of guidance through your intuition. Ace of Cups in reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces at the crown. And this is the energy that they wanted to have you trapped in, right? This is defining the narrative from the divine. This is how the divine sees this narrative, this karmic cycle you've come out of. So Ace of Cups in reverse energy is an energy of emotional exhaustion, having repressed emotions. It's an energy that wants you to be depressed and let down. What do we have at the foundation, please, from the occult terror? Let's see what demons are trying to keep Jemmy's root chakra blocked. We take these as reversals anyway. Eight of Cups, Vepar, but this is like Eight of Cups in reverse. Pisces energy. This is an energy of having learned from this karmic cycle now and you're moving on. Abandoning ship. Abandon all hope. What do we have at the sacral? The sun, boon, Leo energy, sun in reverse energy. This is an energy of delays. Depression. This is the energy they wanted you stuck in. Depression. Stuck in your mentals, right? Not able to see your way forward. Can't focus on anything positive, just a, a clouded perspective on life. They didn't want you to have any success in your life. This is how they wanted you. See right there? There you are. On your hands and knees, right? Talking to that three-headed beast. Yes, beast, what can I do for you? Can I carry your burdens for you? Can I carry your baggage for you? What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the solar plexus? Ace of Swords, Citri, at the solar plexus. This is an energy of confusion. It's an energy of a blocked intuition. It's an energy of poor judgment. See, they didn't want you to harness your confidence, solar plexus energy. They didn't want you to see this. They wanted to block your intuition. If I can just keep blocking Gemini, they won't get to that Ten of Pentacles. And then I could keep feeding off them for narcissistic supply. Very sneaky energy here. I feel like this was somebody very close to you. I mean, it would have to be. But I'm talking like family. This is just an energy of pure chaos. It's okay, Gemini. Maybe next time, huh? Maybe next time, just just stay here. You don't need to step into your power and align with your potential and your divinity and your higher self. That's silly. Who does that anyway? Just stay here with us. And behind the scenes the whole time, they were the ones that were sabotaging you from these victories, however that shows up for you. And a lot of time, this is them instilling self-doubt into you. And you think because they're close to you that their words are solid. 
What do we have at the heart, please? Bail. This is Emperor in reverse energy. Anger. Aries energy at the heart. This is an energy of domination. Control. Using excessive control to get what they want from you. However that shows up for you, Gemini. This is an energy of a huge ego. And it kind of looks like Vladimir Putin, huh? Kind of a coincidence. It's a narcissistic energy that wanted to keep you beneath them, Gemini, is what it comes down to. And they use domination by way of projection through words to keep you stuck. I feel like they were very methodical in the way they went about keeping you stuck as well. I mean, the detail that went into this is just oh, the best, the best of the best, the best demons were assigned to keeping you stuck, Gemini. Vehuia, new beginnings. The fool from the angel tarot. This is an energy of new beginnings. Spontaneity. It's a lot of change and fresh hope inside your energy now. You stepping out on faith, allowing the divine to guide you into this new timeline. What do we have at the throat? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Poyale. God who supports the universe. Fortune and fame fulfills any request. This is an energy of you now giving back to the divine and in perfect alignment. Could be seen as an energy of you giving up offerings, right? Seeing how, understanding now how it's this sort of energy that allows you to stay in alignment. It's an energy of balance. You adapting to this new timeline you're in. And you're under divine guidance. That's how I always see this two of pentacles. It's an energy that's under divine guidance, right? Listening to the divine. Allowing the divine to prepare you as you step into this new timeline. What do we have at the third eye? High Priestess at the third eye. We got the High Priestess at the third eye in the Cappy reading as well, which I did right before this one. God, the eternal lasting, success, protection from magistrates, Ilahia. <sighs> Gemini, your intuition is popping right now, especially underneath this Eight of Wands. Whatever you're thinking, Gemini, if you're doing this work and you're in alignment, is the truth. Don't allow anybody to cast any self-doubt onto you. You know exactly what's going on. Listen to your guidance, Gemini. And you will not fail. What do we have at the crown, please? I just saw the devil on the bottom of this deck here. Five of swords, Aquarius energy to close out the reading. At the crown, God the highest being... Desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. This is an energy of you now overcoming these abusive relationships, moving on into a more peaceful time in your life. This is an energy of you no longer allowing these unhealthy relationships to move into the future with you. Letting go of any past resentment and just moving on. You see these individuals for who they are now and you've terminated any connections to them. Gemini, this is the energy that is available to you if you have not stepped into this timeline yet. Should you choose to accept it? All right, Gemini. I'm going to leave this reading here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Gemini. Take care.